it's early for that, isn't it? Well, it's just gone twelve. Or is it the newspaper you're objecting to? I would have thought you'd have had enough of that in the last couple of days. Hey, you've had a few this holiday yourself. Ah, oh, come on, Pet, we've had a great Christmas. Why go sour now, eh? Nothing you'd be bothered about. Happy New Year. Oh, go ahead, Dad, just one game. No, Damon, no. I couldn't get you or our buddy off at this time last year. And I noticed neither of you were there really that bothered about me and you. Anorak. You were. You were lucky to get that Anorak after reading that school report. Oh, bad. One game. Where do you think you're going? Let's see if I can get a game with that. Hey, Dad, if I win, can we have another game? Yes, yes. Do you reckon you're fit enough? It's time I found out. I've been lining up there for ages. Well, your face is stamina test is coming up outside the door. What do you mean? You mean your mother's out there brushing the path? <laughs> I bet you can't get past there with that kit. Your defence is asleep. Now you better hope your mother's asleep as well. Yeah. Hurry up, he's there just outside, you'll catch him. Where do you think you're going? Pauline's, will you give us a lift, Larry? If it's on me way. What's up with Jeff these days? I haven't seen him since the party. Well, if you do see him, don't get on that bike. He's missed his chance now. What about your dinner? I had a sandwich. And I've had a bussy, man. What are you doing, Karen? Not another party, I hope. No, I'm going to Pauline's. We're only going to play some records or something. Ah, well, make sure coffee's the strongest brew that passes your lips. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Frank. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm always interested in a bit of business. Right, so I'll see you there then. Okay, see ya. I've got to go out, love. Do you want to come? No, I've got a lot to do. Hey, what's up, pet? No, oh, I'm sorry. Where are you going? Well, into town to see Frank Blackburn. Got a bit of gear he thinks you might be interested in? Nothing too bent to him. <laughs> As if. Sure you don't want to come? OK, then. I'll be about an hour. Mm. Well? It sounds very promising. It's more than promising. I'm sure this is it. It's a brand new factory, Annabelle. There aren't that many about. I know. And I'm very pleased for you, Paul. But it is only an interview. I don't want you counting your chickens. Oh, I'm not, my dear. I'm just delighted to have got an interview. And I've never been turned down before once they've seen me. All right, Sammy. Go on, Winston. Oh, the hound. The hound's sound, aren't you, Winston? Is that his name? Where's Jack the lad? Oh, he's not here yet. When is he coming? He'll be here soon, no sweat. Right. Eh, yeah, I'm drinking bitter. Good. I'll have a scotch if you're going. Don't bother about Winston. You have to see my point, Barry. It's not only your welfare I have to have in mind. Right? I wish you'd been there. Uh, Would have saved some egg on me face. But you'll have to be 100%. Well, that's fair enough, Eric. But can you wait till I'm fit again? Just make it soon. We have to win the next two games to get within spitting distance of that cup. Come on, face up, lads. Come on, Greens. I reckon Kinsella's playing a continental game while everybody else is playing British. <laughs> oh, the cat! Keep back! Keep back! Keep back. Keep back. The rest of them look as if they've got the laces tied together. Yeah, just get back soon, eh, and sort his out. As soon as he signs, better. It's not my side you want to worry about, Eric. It's your own. 
Come on, Sally, lad. Come on, Sally, get a clear. Oh, get it. Oh. That's it, lad. You've your orange. Come on. Come on, kids. Get up again, Sally, will you? Oh, I like you. Hey, Frank. What happened? Ah, uh, pints bitter. Same again for me. Never mind about Winston. Nice dog. Did eat him in Japan. Over here, he eats Japs. <laughs> what a Santa sending. The postman. How did yours go? Oh, I spent it with the wise folks. Hard luck. Yeah, gonna spend the new year with my brother, though. If I can get Petra away. Settling to the new house, don't I, she? Yeah, she's happy with me, but I can't get her out of it. I haven't planned to spend this year hibernating. Likes to stay at home, does she? Watch the telly. <laughs> Nothing on it, is there? What do you reckon to the video market, Gavin? Take some machines. One's no use without the other. I think it's collapsing myself. Not collapsing, stabilising. Must be a record getting served in that sign. It must be the way you look. They're trying to get rid of you. Oops, cheers. Gavin and I were just talking about the video market. Hey, it's here to stay, Gav. I've got one. There's four channels now. Sides off. Sammy and me are going into the film business. You are? It's a bit like MGM making a film and looking for a distributor. You. You're going to pirate videotapes. You've got it in one. Why? I know for a fact that your pallet business is thriving. Every driver going down the dock road is dropping you a couple off their beer money. And what about the club? Diversification. <laughs> Into the video business? Come on. The boom's over. I mean, everybody's going bust in this business, and you're trying to get into it now. It's the best time. Look, videos are here to stay, Gav, long term. They just expanded too soon. Isn't that right, Sammy? Too. Look, we pick up the bankrupt stock, right? Wait for business to pick up. It involves your uncle. What would it involve? Nothing. Just keep your ears open for business, potential clients. We've got a little factory for copying. 24 hours a day. My daughter runs it. Sort of job creation. Well, she left school and become one in three million. It's not porn, is it? My daughter running it. Family business, family film. Don't nothing drops on my toes. Oh, you sound with us, Gav. I still don't know. Technology is here to stay. The leisure era is with us, Gav. Okay. Give it a whirl, but if it interferes with my cookers, that's where my bread and butter comes from, okay? The least you can do is pick up a couple of cheap tapes. Right then. Cheers, lads. Cheers. So you reckon it was meant for your boss then? I don't Ah, oh, you too, Barry. Are you just not saying? Would you not have been much, are you? Well, if you want round our way, you know who did it. So what are you going to do about it? Come on. Hey, if you don't do nothing, you could end up playing the dead man. You're joking, aren't you? You will be if I don't get down to Victor's soon. I'd go round and break his legs if I was you. Well, you're not me, are you? And if you was, I bet you'd love to know who did it, wouldn't you? What's to look for, Tim? Ah, oh, suit yourself, buddy. But we need you back in the team. I can see that. So don't let anyone else carve the signature on your side, eh? There's not much chance of that. You can't, right? <laughs> see you, buddy. See you, see you later. You can't tell me what you owe me, are you? Not much you owe me, more like. What are you doing, Vic? What have I been doing, you should ask. Like hanging around here all day, waiting for the man I hired to do this job to show up. It's funny that, isn't it? Well, I'm here now, aren't I? I want this shop finished, Barry. I'm here. But are you fit? Well? Look, the bastard's just messed up me planning, that's all. That bastard could have killed you. Are you sure you don't know who it was? 
Look, some nutter with a blade just had a go, that's all. No harm done. Why you? Maybe he's got a thing about good-looking jan drivers. <laughs> As I say, why you? He hadn't received any threats beforehand. Look, I've told you, Vic. It's just some bloody head case. I mean, I'm not involved with anyone who'd want to hurt me. You're involved with me? <laughs> you? So what? The shop. Who knows in these violent times? What's the shop gonna be, anyway? It's electronic gear, you know, computers and all that. But I've got to get in before anyone else does. <laughs> oh, I see. So what you reckon is, one of your competitors wanted you out of the game? Nah, Vic. If that was the case, you would have got the blade. Who knows? I do. So don't you worry. Come on, we better get something done. Oh, you're still out of it, aren't you? I'm all right. That's what Brezhnev said as they carried him out the Kremlin. I'll finish it, Victor, OK? But when, sunshine? I need the job finished. I don't need your funeral expenses as my first outlay. Look, it'll take me four or five days at the most once I get back into it. OK, Barry. I just want the job finished. Soon. Very soon. This way it's all outlay and I can't hold on much longer. It's wasting time. And time's money, right? Time's money, yeah. I'll be back in a few days. Look, I've got a few days off. I'll be back in a few days. I'll finish it then, Vic. So don't start scheming. Yeah. yeah, but maybe you could consider getting some help in all the same. Maybe. If you lend us your calculator, I'll tell you how much extra it's going to cost you. Hey, I'm losing money on your injury. You're not. I'm not paying out any more money. I just want this place open for the new year. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. No, I don't like it there. Try it over there. Down a bit. Oh, straight bit. What do you think? I can't really judge, can I? Look. Yeah, it looks all right. Well, let's have it here, then. Do you know what I really think? What? I think them people have got a damn cheek of human art taste in pictures just the same as theirs. It was a present. Exactly. I think it's very nice. You just seem a bit quiet, that's all. You didn't even complain when I asked you to put the picture up. No, I'm all right, you. Go on, then. Tell me. <laughs> Only I've got just a couple of little doubts, you know. The first one's our demon. Do you think we've done the right thing? Well, he's got to learn. <laughs> well, he's got to be disciplined or he'll get completely out of control. Yeah, I don't know, but don't you think we might have come on a bit too strong? No, he's been missing school, messing about. God only knows the things we don't. But he's got to learn standards. Ah, uh, maybe you're right. It's, it's just that I can see such a lot of myself in him, you know. Mm. I mean, at his ages, I was exactly the bloody same. And how bad he was, and look at him now. He's turned out a smasher. Yeah, but he had lots of hiding along the route, didn't he? <laughs> you know, that jacket of our Damon's cost nearly £15. All right, yeah. Well, what else? The other thing, work. I'm not so sure we've done the right thing, really. I think maybe we should have tried to hang on. They'd have closed it down. Aye, they say they would. And anyway, even if they did close it down, it might have been better to have a sudden death rather than a lingering one. I thought once the 200 went, you are going to be secure. Aye, but we, we still don't know for how long, do we? You're not looking forward to going back, are you? No, I've had a face them lads, haven't I? I've had a look them in the eye and they know I'm partly responsible for making them redundant. It's not your fault. <laughs> They'll realise that. They'll have to face facts. Oh, are yeah. Uh, all right, lads, don't make a fuss now. You're all down the road. It's like our Damon. We're telling them not to sag schools. And all they want him for is to make factory fodder for the future. 
Damon and the others missed school because they wanted to mess about. <laughs> I don't know. Toe the line, son. Be like me and my dad before me. And his dad before him. And then you'll end up worrying about your job and your future. You can't do a lot about it till the new year, can you? No, no. Hey, I've got another little job for you upstairs. Oh, you had your chance the other afternoon when the insurance man called. Oh, no, I didn't fancy him. <laughs> Come on, what is it? Business colleagues of yours. It's brand new, you can tell. Yeah, like a search button, remote control. No receipt. No, but it's not old riot stock either. And the other one was, that's why it was scratched. You told me you got that from a mate in the trade. Well, it did, sort of. You've only just replaced the one that was stolen. Why'd you have to have two? It's business, isn't it? You promised to concentrate on the cookers and build that business up. And that's just what I'm going to do, Pat. It'd look well if you had the police round here again to check up about the break-in. God, everybody's into it. I mean, people record radio programmes. They put uh, records on the cassettes. They video the telly. The all we're doing is, um, organising it. We've just got a new house. It's almost a new year. It'd be nice to have a new start and be absolutely respectable. <laughs> respectable? What's that mean? Oh, come on. Hey. I've been hustling long enough to know a good deal when I see it. Oh, come on, look. They're going to make a lot of money this new year, pet. It's not money I want. You come on. Oh, well, so it's not this time. I mean, you said yourself, lots of couples have trouble. I mean, it takes longer for some. I mean, that, 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 um, magazine article you showed me, how long did it take them? Oh, great. Over 12 years. I'm not waiting that long. What are you going to do? Put a note out for the milkman? Well, at least he delivers on time. I hope he's not going to be like this over the new year. I mean, brother's never seen you smile since we were married. Since I've been married to you, I've not much to smile about, have I? <gasps> you will have when next door sees that shed. Oh, don't be so childish. I think it's funny. Job, Gordon. You've been at it a while. Uh, I need a memory facility. This computer is useless without one. Oh. Sounds expensive. Is it absolutely necessary? Yes. Well, for anything important. Take the security system I'm planning. I fed in the room sizes and other house dimensions, and then worked out a program to find the cheapest way to install the burglar alarm and smoke detection system. Trouble is, I've had to write out every stage. Oh. It would have been quicker not to use the computer. Why not program the computer to make a frightful noise if anyone gets in? No. I've worked out the most economical routes for the wiring, the places for the smoke detectors, mm -hmm. and the position for the central control to attain most cost-effectiveness. You see, there's no shortcut, really, Dad. If you want me to program this properly, then I'm going to need a memory. I see. Are you two downstairs? Yes, dear. We're playing with Gordon's computer. Now... The obvious place will be the hall for the central control box, but having taken all factors into account, it should be on the ceiling in the kitchen. Oh, that's not very practical, is it? Well, no, but under the floorboards of the landing above it, or a little less economical but more practical, will be in the airing cupboard. Yes, and difficult to find. If anyone had broken in without being detected, they wouldn't need to find it. Hello, our first intruder. <laughs> Have you had a nice time? Merry Christmas and all that. Oh, you're a bit late for the all that. Well, I'll be early for next year, won't I? Had a good time. Brilliant, thanks. And you? Oh, great. 
The Broadbents came over on Christmas Day. Oh, I feel even better missing that. Now then, you two. They brought us a lovely box, box. of liqueurs, yes. How did you guess? Ten years of experience. Well, it's nice to have you back home. I've only been away two days. A good omen for the new year, too. And I've got an interview for a job. Really? Oh, it'd be nice to have some money coming in. Oh, for God's sake, Lucy. Can't you think of anyone other than yourself? Look, I only meant... I know I... damn well what you meant. If I could only afford those blasted school fees. I'm sorry, Dad. It's just me and my big mouth. What's it for, anyway? Production manager in a new factory. Production manager? Sounds promising. When is it? Next week. I suppose I'd better dig out my interview suit. You can wear your new silk tie I bought you. It's upstairs. I'll go and get it. Someone seems to have enjoyed herself. You know something, Annabelle? I think this is going to be a happy, peaceful new year.